they are giving us a chance to be heard today. Um, we will be reading our victim impact statement. My name is Lakeisha Gardner. I am the mother of Jason Gardner. I stand before you today as humble as I can. After all the hurt and pain that has been inflicted on my son and my family, I have much to say. But today I just want to express my feelings and my family's feelings and continue the healing process. When my son was first found laying alone, beaten and hurt in that creek, all I could think is, no God, not my child, take me instead. I couldn't feel anything but fear of the unknown. I didn't have enough tears to cry, enough voice to scream. I was completely lost. What you did to my son changed his life and our family's life forever. I do not understand. In fact, I may never understand why this happened, but surely we will be thinking of it forever. Today my child feels he isn't important and he doesn't matter. Today my family struggles to heal and move forward due to so many changes that had to be made just for our safety. Things will never be the same. Although the pain of being beaten and hurt so badly for no reason except for being African American has damaged my son, I still teach him to forgive and pray for others. Never allow hate in your heart. It has no place. He lives that truth every day. Today I ask that you put yourself in his shoes. Ask yourself, what do you do when in an instance your whole life changes and sadly you're left with nothing but pain, nightmares, and fear? What would you do? Bullying is not okay. Hate is not okay. Racism should have no place in anyone's heart. But sadly, it's alive and is destroying minds and families. I beg the court today to take action and give the perpetrator a punishment that will help him understand that this behavior will not be tolerated because the punishment my son got on June 5th, 2017 will last forever. Thank you for allowing me to voice my feelings on this matter. And this is the statement that I wrote. My name is Jason Gardner. I'm here today to share my feelings with the court and I hope that justice is served on June 5th, 2017. I was beaten really badly. I was called some really bad names that I can't say because it makes me sick to repeat. I thought my life was about to end. To be honest, a part of me still is back at that creek. I'll never forget that the question that stays on my mind is, what did I do to deserve this? Why did God make me who I, who I am only for me to be hated? The way the color of my skin jeopardizes my life. Why was that okay? I was told to go back to Africa. I've never been. I feel like it wasn't anything that I did wrong that, that caused this to happen. It was because of the color of my skin. I never knew what that, what depression was, was until now. But every day I try to forgive and, and move on. I just want to feel safe again. Right now, I can't say I feel safe in here anymore. I feel as if the person who did this to me should go to jail for what he did to me. That's how I feel.